Welcome geometry students. Today we're going to learn how to determine and calculate circumference, arc length, area of a circle, and area of a sector of a circle. We won't be looking at all of this target today, so keep that in mind, but we'll be spending the next couple of days on this particular target. So let's first talk about circumference. Circumference is simply the distance around a circle. Essentially, it's just the perimeter of a circle. The arc length <clears throat> is a portion of the circumference of a circle. All right, let's look at this definition. <clears throat> the circumference of a, of a circle is going to be the formula C equals 2 pi r or C equals pi times diameter. So you're probably familiar with these formulas from um, previous math courses you've taken. So you can use either of these and the reason why both of these are useful is the diameter is just equal to 2 times the radius. So we can interchange those and use either formula. So if we're finding the circumference of a circle, keep in mind we're finding the entire distance around the outer edge. So if I were to take a piece of string, for example, and start at one point and wrap it around till I get back to that point, that would be the circumference. Now in our definitions, we also saw arc length. So <clears throat> arc length would be, for example, if I take a string and started on this point and ended on this point and measure the length of that string. So our units for both of these, the entire circumference and just for the arc length, <clears throat> would be equal to um, things like inches, meters, feet, etc. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. Example one says to find the indicated measure. The circumference of a circle with a radius of 11 meters and we're asked to write our answer in exact and approximate form. So we'll talk about what this means in just a minute. But I'm going to start with a picture. I know that the radius of my circle is 11 meters. So I want to find the entire circumference or the entire distance around. So I'm going to use 2 pi r. Well, my radius is known to be 11, so 2 times pi times 11. Now it asks us to give our answer in two ways. First, the exact and approximate. Well, we've heard exact before, especially when working with radicals. So exact would be something where you don't have a rounded decimal. So here what we're going to do for the exact answer is we're just going to multiply the integers 2 and 11 to make 22 and keep that pi. So 22 pi meters is the exact circumference. But if I want the approximate, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 22 with pi. Now, <clears throat> when you do this, you don't want to actually use the uh, estimate, 3.14. You instead want to use the pi button. So look for that on your calculator. It is a second function. So you're just going to hit second and then the button below the clear button. So then you're going to type in 22 times pi and you should get approximately 69.12 meters. So keep in mind pi is slightly larger than 3 so if we multiply 22 with something slightly larger than 3 69.12 meters would make sense. Okay let's try part B. The radius of a circle with circumference of 18 yards so now what we're told is that the distance around this entire circle is 18 yards. Our job is to find the radius. So I'm going to use the same formula, C equals 2 pi r. Only now <clears throat> we're plugging into the C. We know the circumference to be 18, so 2 pi r. This does not tell us to have an exact answer. Um, it just says we can have the answer as an estimate, since it doesn't imply exact. So we're going to divide by 2 pi on both sides to find the radius. So the 2's cancel because they divide to be 1. The pi's cancel because they divide to be 1. And we're left with 18 divided by 2 pi. 
So <clears throat> when you do this, I would suggest putting the denominator in parentheses. And you're going to find that the radius is approximately 2.86 yards. To double check that this answer makes sense, just ask yourself if this was our radius of 2.86 yards and I found the circumference, would it be 18 yards? So you can just double check it that way. 2 times pi times our radius of 2.86 does give us our circumference of 18 yards, so we know we've done that correctly. Arc length. So we talked a moment ago that arc length is just a distance around a portion of the circle. So <clears throat> if you're calculating the arc length of a circle, it's always going to be less than the entire circumference. So it says, in a circle, the ratio of the length of a given arc to the circumference is equal to the ratio of the measure of the arc to 360. So essentially what we're going to be doing to find the arc length, let me go back a moment, is simply setting up a proportion. So the proportion will be the arc length, or part of the distance around the circle, over the whole distance around a circle. And the entire distance around a circle is the circumference. So we're just essentially doing the part of the distance over the whole distance. And that's going to equal the degree measure of the arc. So the measure of the arc over the entire degree measure of a circle, which is always going to be 360. So one thing I want you to keep in mind is this part of our proportion, when we're dealing with the length and the, and the circumference, those units are going to be things like inches, meters, feet, etc. When we're dealing with the degree measure, that always has to be degrees. So just keep that in mind. Also, this arc has to match with this arc. So if you're finding the arc length, the degree measure has to be according to that particular arc as well. Let's look at an example. Example 2 says to use the diagram to find the indicated measure. The first, first diagram says that we're finding the arc length of AB. So in other words, what is the length of a string laid out from A to B? Now clearly we can't measure this with a ruler um, because it is a curve, so we're going to have to do a calculation here. Well, our formula, which I would like you to write each time, is arc length over circumference is equal to arc measure over 360 degrees. Keep in mind we're just talking about the part of the length around the circle over the whole length equals the part of the degree measure of the circle over the whole degree measure. So now we have the arc length is what we're finding. So we're trying to find the length of arc AB. And if you notice, I'm not putting a straight line above AB. I'm putting a curve to show it's an arc. It's actually a curve of the circle. Over the circumference, well, the circumference could be calculated doing 2 pi times the radius. So 2 pi times 2. We'll simplify that in a minute. And then the arc measure that correlates to AB is this central angle of 88 degrees. So 88 degrees over 360. Now we're just going to cross multiply to solve our proportion to find AB. So here's what you would type into your calculator. You're going to multiply 88 <clears throat> with 2 pi times 2. And then once you have that, you'll divide by 360. So essentially it looks like this. 88 times 2 pi times 2. Get the result of that and then divide by 360 degrees. That'll calculate the length of arc AB, and you should find that to be approximately 3.07 feet. If we try part B, part B says to find M of arc RS. Be careful that M stands for measure of arc RS. So we're not finding the amount of feet, we're finding the degree measure here. It also tells us that QS is 12.3 feet and QS is a radius. So what we're going to do is start with the same formula. Arc length over the circumference is equal to arc measure over the entire degree measure of a circle, which is 360. 
So the arc length, well, first of all, the arc that we're talking about is RS. So that's this minor arc here, and it tells us that that's 38 feet. <clears throat> now the circumference we can calculate using the radius, which was given as 12.3. So keep in mind the circumference is 2 pi r. So 2 pi times the radius of 12.3. And that equals the arc measure. Well, we're trying to calculate the measure of RS. So that's our unknown. You could also put X there if you'd rather. And the total is 360. Keep in mind when you get to this point of your proportion, you should have just one unknown, which we do. We're finding the measure of RS. Now we're going to go ahead and cross multiply 38 times 360 and divide by the circumference. And we should find that the measure of RS is approximately 177 degrees. So that's slightly less than a semicircle. If you um, did not try this step on your own, please make sure you do that now to make sure you agree with my degree measure, um, just so that you know how to type that in on your calculator. If you have questions on that, please talk to me tomorrow. All right, let's look at example three. Example three says to use the diagram to find the radius of the circle. So looking at this, we know the degree measure of this central angle. We also know the arc length that corresponds with that. So our job is to find the radius. So what we're going to do is we're going to work backwards using the same formula we just saw. Arc length over the circumference, I'm going to abbreviate that, is equal to arc measure over 360 degrees. So the arc length, remember, is the part of the circle, which in this case is 4.19. We don't know the circumference, nor do we know the radius or diameter, so at this point we can't find that. So we're going to let that be our unknown. Our arc measure that corresponds with that length is 40 degrees, and our total degree measure is 360. So now when we look at this, our one unknown is the circumference. So what we can do is cross multiply to calculate the circumference. Well, we're going to find that the circumference is 37.71 inches. Make sure you agree with me. You should be trying this on your own as well. But if you look, that's not what we're asked to find. We're asked to find the radius. So we need to work another step to find the radius. Well, we know the circumference of any circle is equal to 2 pi r. So what I'm going to do is use this in my new formula and solve for the radius. So this might be a multi-step problem when you have to calculate the radius. So now we're going to work this just like we did a previous example and get r alone by dividing by 2 pi. Well, 37.71 divided by 2 pi gives us a radius of about 6 inches. Again, you can back up to check your work by calculating the circumference of this and then see if 40 degrees correlates with the 4.19 inches we were given. If it does, then we know we've done it correctly. Alright, go ahead and try the you try nows. Um, check your answers. If things aren't working out, make sure you talk to me about those in class. And have a good day.